welcome back to the channel guys today we're going to build this thing for a fan he wants us to do turn signals we're doing turn signals he wants us to do uh the plow we want to hook up the uh instead of having the remote he wants us to hook up the like a switch so we're gonna do that we're gonna put in a switch panel we're gonna put it with the buttons the, the panel that i like to use that panel right there yeah we're gonna use that he wants us to put backup lights on there he wants us to wire up his wipers for that and you've seen that the winch kind of uh, 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 does its own thing right we're gonna wire up all of that and get it all done for him and then he is super tired of the jerkiness so we're gonna do a clutch kit but i want to show you guys before and after with my clutch kit i want to show you that before it's jerky it's uncontrollable and then i want to show you after what the RNG Performance Clutch Kit will do for you. Smooth throttle control. You need that for plowing snow. It's gonna give you the extra power for plowing the snow. Guys, www.rngperformance.net, not .com. We're gonna have your light bars. We're gonna have your switch panels. We're gonna have your clutch kit. We're gonna have your light pods so we can install them on the back so they can see what they're doing in the snow at night in the woods when they're working, loading this thing up with logs, using the chainsaw, doing whatever it is that they're doing that they need a light back here for. We're gonna have that, rngperformance.net. We're also gonna have some wiring on our site. Not much, but we're getting there. Now he bought these switches, but I do have some basic switches on our site. Check those out, they're on there, they're pretty cheap. So guys, remember, when buying your clutch kit, if you're just wanting to get rid of the, the jerkiness and, the, and make it smooth, and you're wanting to get just a little bit more power, all you need is our primary kit. Our primary kit is on our website. If it's back ordered, it usually takes me just a few days to get them in, maybe a week at most. Sometimes I'm able to drop ship to you so you get them faster. And we have sold 200, 200 clutch kits this week alone. I had to hire somebody else for the team. Guys, it's great. Thank you so much for all of your support. I'm not even joking when I said 200. We sold 200 clutch kits, 200 this week. It's only Wednesday, Thursday? Thursday. It's Thursday. It's only Thursday. We ship, 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 ship. I had to hire somebody to help me in the office. And she's also going to learn the website and learn how to do the inventory. And she's going to learn how to ship the kits because I ship my kits a special way. And you'll see how I ship my kit. I take the time myself. I take the time. I wrap everything up so nothing's all strode around in a bag, right? Guys, let's get into this build. Leave me a thumbs up. Hit the comments down below. If you already have an RNG kit, let me know how you like it. I always love to hear feedback from everybody. Should we get started and quit talking? Sure. All right, guys. So I wanted to show you, because some of you haven't seen this on, on my rig, because I actually have an install video, which is why we're not going to do an install video on this particular rig because these are easy as heck to hook up these this is the control panel and i have an install video on my 600 which shows you the basics how to hook it up so go ahead and check on my channel on that if you want to know how to hook it up but today we're going to talk about it um i highly recommend if you're hooking up anything such as a uh, light bars um even these windshield wipers check this out okay so we got the wipers hooked up into this control panel and guess what if you want this control panel to go off you just hit the off button like that you just hit the off button turn it on now i know you're saying those bright lights are real real bright the blue lights are real bright you put stickers over here dolls them right down and it just illuminates what sticker you put on there they're really sweet i'll show you the aftermath but we got everything if you want to come closer laura Laura's the camera lady today. You get it down in here. Okay. So anyway, I know it's dark, but we're going to light it up with this. Did you got fuses? You got a cover in here. We're going to have to figure out a way to put that cover on there. Um, but anyway, this is all waterproof, water tight. Um, I, hit, I hit this with the pressure washer, no problems. I open this and I pressure wash it too. Not real close, but you know, it's all sealed up. But you just run your wires in up top and then you plug them in to 
a, a fuse which is connected to this. So all of your relays and everything, so no more messing with relays because all your relays are built into this box. This box will uh, hold like 1200 watts. I have my amp running through this. I have my stereo running through this. You can have just about anything running through it with the, you know, smaller sized wire. So light bars, light pods, all of that type of stuff. But yeah, guys, super simple. I have one for sale on my website. Check it out. Ronnie's out here getting her done, ain't you, Ronnie? Yep. You're getting the turn signals wired up, light bar on. Talk about that here soon. Got the turn signals back here wired up. Now listen guys, this was easy. For the turn signals, all you gotta do is buy the turn signal switch, which is right there. And then you wanna get the turn signal relay, which is over here. It goes right there. And the wire for that was where? Under here. Way under here. You gotta kinda dig for it. Go up underneath it was up underneath that. there, uh, zip tied to the frame, right underneath the headlight plastic, right like that, yeah. So it was really hard to <laughs> find, but we found it. And you're going to want to look for in the harness. Back here, um, orange wire on this side, orange wire to be in the harness going to the tail lights. So orange wire on this side and a baby blue wire on this side. It's super easy, guys. It's super easy. And then up in here, the light going to the this right here, these, this isn't tidied up yet, but the harness for your headlight, it's going to be a baby blue wire on uh, the passenger side. You just want to kind of want to cut it and tap in there. And like I said, he's going to clean this up. And then over here, same thing, but it's an orange wire. So turn signal super easy on a U-Force 1000. Super easy, and we're going to get into the clutch kit here pretty soon. Show them what we got going on, Ronnie. And I'll show them in the daylight, too. Well, we should have rear spotlights right there. We got rear spotlights. Well, let's check this out. Oh, man, look how... Uh, probably probably about to make some neighbors mad. We better, better turn those back off. But, hold on, Ronnie. Let's show them this ox beam here. See that ox beam panel right there? We got what, the wipers? Show them the wipers. That's on, there we go. That's off. What else we got? We got light bar. Let's see it. Ooh, shoot, man. Ooh, shoot. She's a bright one. That's a 42 inch flat, flat bar. So she's flat. Yep. We have light bars on our website. We don't have any 42s yet, but. What else we got? What else we got? <clears throat> Do you, you got your light in here? <clears throat> well, turn the key on. They all should light up. Turn the key on. There we go. They're all lit up. Look at that. That no, looks beautiful. Your, well, up, your left and right don't light up. The left and right doesn't light up? Yeah. Well, he installed that. We didn't, so that's his fault, all right? So the left and right plow don't light up. You want to show them how that works? There that's up. up. Hold on. That's up. There we go. Automatic plow. Oh, yeah. There's left. There's right. You want to go down with it? Look at that. Everything's all tied in real nice. He's got a horn. Check him that. Got a horn. Now, let's hear the turn signal. You didn't tighten up the horn. We didn't bolt the horn, <laughs> didn't bolt the horn down. We got to do that. Let's turn the turn signal on. Right turn. There's, check out that turn signal. Check that out. Now let's go check it out here in the rear. See what we did here. Look at that. Look at that. We got it all. And I'll go over this stuff with you guys in the daylight so you can actually see what's going on. So, that's good, isn't it? Left turn. Got a left turn. <clears throat> There we go. The left turn going on with them bright headlights. Heck yes. Heck yes. What do you say, Ronnie? We did a good job? Yeah, we did. Did a good job. And we're not even done yet. I still got to do the clutch tomorrow. And uh, get some B-roll of how everything is. What? Did you really build that thing in your bare feet? Yeah. I got my 
skin-toed work boots on. See, the joys of working for yourself, you can do it comfortably. You don't have to have your feet all cramping up in a set of sweaty, nasty, smelly work boots when it's nice outside. You can be comfortable doing what you want to do the way that you want to do it. That's what I enjoy about doing what I do. You know what I'm saying? I can eat when I want. I can talk on the phone when I want. I can work how I want, when I want, where I want. I can do anything I want because the boss ain't gonna care. Wait a minute. Are you gonna care, redneck? Do whatever the heck you wanna do, pal. Now let's get this clutch in there. So guys, I wanna show you. I already have an install video, so I'm not gonna show you how to install it because I already have a video, but some of you are asking, hey, Redneck, that's real tight in there. That's real tight in there. Well, this plastic piece that sits in front of this tire actually comes out 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter down inside, 10 millimeter clip, clip. That thing comes right out and wow, it's bam open. <laughs> what you're doing. We got you covered. You can't do that with the stock. You can't do it. You, you can't do this with the stock. Normal mode low. We have our left and our right turn signal down here. We have our normal and our work mode. We moved a few switches. We have our override. We have the horn. We have the winch in. Plow up. Winch out. Plow down. We have our plow left and our plow right. And then we have our kill switch. He wanted to delete that. I do not recommend deleting that. You need that as a fail safe safety because you can smack this quicker than you can turn that key and um even your passenger if something happens to you while you're driving they can smack that and grab the wheel right we don't want to get rid of that i left that there um we could have put it over here but there's not enough wire we put all these switches in the right locations that we could given the wire that we had to work with we didn't want to cut any um cf moto factory harness so he does have his winch remote here which does work his ox beam we have the rear lights which we're actually just on we have the wipers there you go. We have a stereo. He doesn't have a stereo yet. He said he's going to do rock lights. So we got rock lights for him. And we got our front light bar, which is super bright. It's a 42 inch thin. It fits right up there. Perfect. It, it fits great. So if you want your ox beam to go off, you just hold that. Boom. Off. If you want it on, key off, key out. You can hit your wipers. Okay. All right. And then when you want to do off, you just... There you go. Whoops. There you go. It's off. So, guys, that is what we did for him. 
he had the plow installed um, but we did all the wiring and hooked everything up he ha he already installed these but we had you know ran the wires to the aux beam switch panel which i do sell on www.rngperformance.net um so well so guys that's all it's going to be for this video i thought this was going to be a pretty cool little build uh not a lot to it but this is going to be one rugged snow machine that's all i gotta say this thing is ready to plow he is going to do some bigger tires and some wheel spacers in the future and we'll probably be the ones to do that for him but he he's super happy with this rig and wanted it really plow uh set up to plow snow that's what his main use is going to be and some hunting with it so he's hunting he can pop that plow right off it's easy he's got the windshield the wipers the back windshield the whole nine yards all right guys i want to thank you for watching we'll see you in the next one peace out god bless like share subscribe leave me a comment down below uh, if you got one, what you did with it, what kind of build did you do, let's, let's hear about it.